happy day. It is a workout day. Hello. <laughs> she wanted to say hi. Hi, Ian. Say hi. Say hi. Anyway, today's video, as you guys probably already know from the title of this video, I'm going to be walking you guys through a 10-minute high-intensity workout that involves your full body and abs. This is a perfect beginner workout. This is perfect for you if maybe you just want a HIIT workout that you can do anywhere. You can also add in weight to this if you wanted to just to make it a little bit more difficult, but like you don't have to, which is amazing. So um, before we hop into this workout, the point of this workout is to keep your heart rate elevated and spiked so it can tap into your fat cells so you burn fat throughout this workout, even after this workout. Um, I'm gonna add in a little bit of abs in here too because who doesn't like to train abs. I love incorporating different ab exercises into high intensity training because it just burns like crazy and I love it. And there's so many different exercises you can add that really focus on your core, but keep your heart rate up at the same time. So it's a win-win situation. Um, like I said, this is perfect for you if you are a beginner, if you're on vacation, if you're going on vacation, if you travel for work, if you're a stay-at-home mom, Anything like that. If your workout time is limited, this workout is perfect for you. You can make this workout only 10 minutes. You can make it 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however long you want it to be. This workout requires no equipment whatsoever, which is amazing. These are like some of my favorite types of workouts. Just because you don't have equipment or just because maybe your gym is closed or you don't have a gym membership, that ain't no excuse in my book. You can still move your body. So I'm gonna head downstairs. I'm gonna film this in the garage. Um, not at home today because we're in the middle of moving and like our stuff is literally everywhere right now. So um, it's just not very organized in this place right now. So we're gonna go downstairs where it's a little bit more cleaner and a little bit more organized. If you guys like these type of videos, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. She wants to tell everyone to subscribe so you never miss a video with us ever again. And let's go ahead and get this workout started. Okay, so with this workout, you do need a timer. So how it's gonna work is you're gonna perform the exercise for 40 seconds, you're gonna rest for 20 seconds, and then move into the next exercise after the 20 seconds is up. So make sure you are breathing, trying to catch your breath during that 20 seconds because right when that new minute starts, you're moving into the next exercise. If you want this to be just a 10 minute workout, you're only gonna do this one time through. If you wanna do 20 minutes, you'll do it two times through. There are 10 different exercises in this workout. So like I said, perform the exercise for 40 seconds nonstop as quick as you can. Rest for 20 seconds, catch your breath, and then repeat. Starting with the first exercise, you are doing this for 40 seconds straight. So it's like a pop squat, but you are reaching down and tapping the floor. So like I said, you want to do this as quick as possible. If you want to modify this exercise, just take out the pop. Just take out the jump in it. Um, but I still want you guys to reach down and touch that ground. Make sure you are keeping your back straight so no one pulls their back. You have rested for 20 seconds at the start of the next minute. You are doing high knees for the full 40 seconds. So you want to keep a good rhythm here and drive those knees up as close to your chest as possible. So you just want to keep going, keep moving for the full 40 seconds. For this next exercise, you are going to be doing plank jacks for the next 40 seconds. So you're going to come down in a push-up position and you are just going to hop your legs out and in. This is going to kill your core. If you need to drop to your elbows in a plank position, that is totally fine as well with this next exercise if you have like a light dumbbell or a water bottle even you can use it for that or you can just do body weight I'm gonna show you guys both versions I'm gonna use a light dumbbell like five pounds and then also I'll just do it with my body weight okay so for this next exercise these are jump lunge twists so I do have a five pound dumbbell in my hand um, with this specifically you want to make sure you're keeping your core super super tight so you can keep your balance the entire time um, and you are just gonna keep switching legs for the full 40 seconds if you need to take out the jump that is totally fine and if you just want to do it body weight I'm showing you right here you just hold your hands and keep twisting and keep jumping but if you want to take out the jump please feel free to take out the jump now don't kill me 
But yes, there are burpees in this workout. It would not be a full body body weight workout if there were no burpees in them. You're lucky there is no push-ups in these, so you're just gonna come down and hop right back up. Um, if this is way too advanced for you, that is totally okay. I'm gonna show you right here. You're just gonna walk your legs out and then jump up. If you wanna take out the jump and just stand up, that is totally fine too, but this right here is a great beginner's way to introduce yourself into the burpee. Still is working your entire body, and this is a great way to modify the exercise. These are like one of my favorite exercises. So you're gonna squat down and you're gonna bring your opposite knee to your opposite elbow. So you're just gonna twist that upper body and bring that leg up to your elbow. You're just gonna keep your arms up by your head. That's the easiest way for me to do it. I like to call these like prisoner squats, but this right here, like don't underestimate this exercise. It's working both your legs and your core. It's absolutely killer. Okay, so this next exercise, kind of like a runner's lunge jump. Um, you're not going all the way down into a lunge. You kind of keep that back leg straight and you just use it to jump up and bring that knee up towards your chest. Um, so with this, you're gonna do the right leg for 20 seconds and then you'll switch at halfway and you'll do the left leg. If you need to modify this exercise, just take out the jump so you're not jumping straight up. Okay, moving into the next exercise, these are plank knee tucks. So with these, you are gonna get into a high plank position and you are gonna jump those knees up towards your chest, keeping your core tight the entire time. If this exercise is way too hard for you, you can just walk your knees up towards your chest like I'm showing right here, but you wanna make sure you are doing this for the entire 40 seconds, so push yourself. You're almost there. Okay, so moving into toe taps, I normally tap my feet on something like my medicine ball, but since this is a body weight, no equipment workout, we're doing it with nothing. So you wanna keep a good rhythm here, and this is going to spike your heart rate, so go as quickly as you can. The last and final exercise is going to be mountain climbers. So this is where I want you guys to challenge yourself and give it your all. Go as quickly as possible without breaking form. Drive those knees up towards your chest and keep that core tight. 10 minutes, seriously all you need to get in a good workout. Just move your body, I promise you will feel better. I'm like literally dripping right now. That workout, don't underestimate body workouts. Like I always say, this one will literally make you out of breath and get your heart pumping and you'll be feeling great in no time thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like these type of videos if you liked this workout if you do this workout let me know in the comments box down below how you liked it um i'm going to be doing more workouts like home style workouts because i know a lot of people are either just beginning their workout lifestyle or maybe they don't have access to a gym or equipment all the time so i'm going to try to do these videos and everything more often for you guys so i hope they're helpful if you want to see any different topics or workouts or anything like that just drop them down below in the comments and i will try to get to it thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time